to the, to work for it at all, <laughs> to to lose a game on the road to the championship, even let alone. I, I mean, you know that that's step one. Squid's got to take a game off of Army and not let him have that free tournament, and then we can talk about Squid. Uh, you know, resetting, forcing more games, uh, forcing a second set. Yeah, so let's see what he's steps. got. I, w I wonder if Squid can deal with the way Arm moves forward onto the ground when he's trying to fish him from the platforms with the shine or something. I wonder if there are solutions to it. I haven't, I haven't thought it up yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure there's there's correct answers. Uh, I don't think there's uh, there's probably not like a foolproof like you just do this every time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. Movement's tricky to like have a clean answer to because there's so many different ways you can do it, right? Yeah. That said, Squid takes a quick first stop. Looking pretty strong right here. Let's see if he can keep that rolling. Ho oh, ho! I like this. Ray separated him. Shield drop. Uh, the, he that opening he got right there. Oh my god! That laser just kills Nana. Holy moly! That was sick. Um, that whole opening that he got right there started off with a shield drop laser. Um, something you see very few Falcos actually go for. It, it's pretty tricky to do, right? You got to get the shield drop notch and then let go and laser really fast. Mm -hmm. um, it's really hard. It's, it's yeah. tough timing. <laughs> yeah. It's the, um, so like on Dreamland, it's like a little bit easier just because the platforms are higher. Yeah. Um, and, and Battlefield's not like it's it's hard for sure, mm -hmm. uh, but not um, impossible. But Squid can even do it on like. Uh, uh, on like Yoshi's and stuff. There he does it again. Uh, so it seems like that's something I, I haven't seen him do it before against uh, Ices very much. So it seems like it's an adaptation that he thinks he's found. Not sure exactly why he feels it's working. I love that the quick wave land on the platform, immediate drop through aerial. That's so fast and tricky. It's so scary. Great way to punish someone coming in at you as Falco. Oh, that down air. Smart stuff by Army. Oftentimes the Popo like. Why would you bother protecting yourself? Obviously, he's going to go for Nana, but Army yeah. recognizes Squid's not about that life. Which is a super easy mix-up for Ice Counters to get jumbled up on. Yeah. Just, oh, he's attacking Nana. Let me just hit him before he can do anything. Boom, get forward smashed or something by Falco. Yeah. Squid, he, you know, oftentimes the Ice Climbers is so focused on, how do I save my Nana? How do I save my Nana? Oh, shit, I just got hit. Right? Yeah. Ooh, that shine just connects on Nana allows for big separation. What oh, the? No. Okay. Alexa, do no angle. Super smart. Dodging the force smash with it. It will get staged again. Ooh, Squid. So patient there. I definitely would have jumped. I would have gone up there. And then Squid just waits. Like a shark. All right, two stocks to one. Squid's holding on to a lead here a little bit, but we know how Army can make those disappear. Yeah. Super quick with it, too. All right. Oh. Oh, Holy mashed out at 40 again. Holy. And and I just want to point out, he mashed out at 40 and didn't insta-kill himself with like a side beat <laughs> up your aerial, right? Like, Nothing like that. He uh, kept his composure. Yeah. Held it down. To, to mash out and then end up off stage, there's so many ways as Falco that you can kill yourself, which is like any button press after the mash out. Mm -hmm. So really good stuff to, to Squid to not do that. And then, uh, you know, he plays around a little bit and Army gets another grab. And yeah. There you go. Army leaving himself in a really good spot just to punish whatever Squid might have messed up on. One thing I want to bring back up and point out again is uh, Army's use of the F smash to challenge Squid uh, coming in uh, with a laser. Oh, yeah. That... Uh, it's so tricky, right? Like, both of them F smash. Oh, no, the jab. Oof. Jab I feel reset. Like Hurts. It's kind of it's kind of ironic because I feel like IC players know how the laser works in this matchup more than Falco players do. For sure. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they they get right, ICs get so much off of the laser, right? You get the free desync. You can do these shenanigans with like the double hit and stuff. You know, Falcos they think about okay, I'm gonna get control with lasers, and then the the next level is like, oh, how do I deal with power shields? Um, and like, oh, but like ice climbers can't really power shield. It's like too weird because yeah. like the shields are different timings, and there's two of them and all that. So yeah, it, definitely like crazy use of the lasers by by uh, army to really punish Squid. I can see the potential Falco has in this matchup. I think if like if Falco's labs as hard as the Ices, just like this matchup, like specifically, I don't know. It could it could definitely sway in our yeah. favor. Hopefully, no one besides you listens to me say that. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely agree. Uh, I, I think I think put it's a tab on that one. We'll yeah. <laughs>
I, I think that in general, like, ICs just have very bad matchups. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very hard for ICs in, like, every matchup. But they're just used to them. They're just, like, okay yeah. with it. Like, that's the character they've chosen. And so they're, they're very good at, like, making it look okay. Use, like, the, the problem solving that the character, like, entails. Yeah. Ooh. Getting caught for ledge dash shield. It's one of Squid's favorite options there because you're super invincible and people want to try to punish you right after, right out of the ledge dash. Mm -hmm. uh, so you just ledge dash shield and then they like do something punishable and you get to hit him for it. Uh, but armies wise, and he's able to just go for the grab instead. Yeah. Oh man. Army's positioning. Okay. I bring it up a lot, but it really can't be understated like how good he is at just leaving himself in the perfect spots to follow up and pressure. I, absolutely. If, if we wanted to, we could spend this entire time just talking about the minutia of Army's positioning mm -hmm. and how great it is. Uh, he does so many little things just right. Oh my god. That wave dash. He's able to avoid landing on the side platform, already kind of tricky, and then gets like that super long wave dash in order to punish Squid. Try catching him. Good shine saw there by Squid. Uh, and okay, that was really interesting by Army. He goes for the double jump fair, trying to catch Squid jumping out to kill Nana. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Squid had actually already put Nana in tumble, so there was no. She was definitely dead. There was nothing that Ar Army could do. Yeah. So Squid just sat there and waited, and then he was able to punish the uh, back air because of it. So uh, really, really good attempt by Army, and then really good awareness by Squid to realize he didn't need to do anything. Oh. Oh, just adding the damage. He gets that up air, and yeah, he's able to... Oh my god, that tech chase off of the up air. Nana didn't forward throw. I oh. thought she was close enough, but I guess yeah. not. You know, we talked earlier about... I think it was uh, when he was playing Fox, about how, you know, oftentimes you can kind of camp the platforms, and what's he going to do? He gets one up air and nothing out of it. Yeah. Um, and I think today one of the things Army's been doing crazy, crazy well, like better than I thought was possible, is he's been finding follow-ups off of that up air on the side platform. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it's like one of the adaptations that's made him so scary. He's able to get the, you know, the consecutive hits off of it, but and also like another really big thing is that he removes the other player's positioning. Mm -hmm. like he gets him out of the good spot, puts him somewhere they'd want to be, and just plays like on the fear that, you know. So am I happy because of it? Yep. All right. This is the same situation we saw last game. Squid was up two stocks to one. Army was able to take the stock and then get the wobble immediately with a jab. Oh grab. Man. <laughs> oh man, that's that's painful. That was the exact same setup that Army <laughs> used last time. He, he caught Squid with like a weird hit that Squid didn't realize he was going to have to tech super fast. Right? It didn't even pop him up really. It was just like. <laughs> right on the ground and it's like oh shit I got a tech oh shit I didn't tech oh shit I got jabbed oh shit I got grabbed and it's like like all of those things happen so fast and army just with the recognition like tap grab done yeah he know he knew he has his game plan He's just able to follow up on it all right so two games in a row we've seen squid uh, build up a two stock to one lead and then get caught with a, a tricky situation last stock it could be a wobble yeah, yeah. man this is this is rough I, I I don't feel like Squid's doing anything wrong. What, what do you want us to do, Chroma? Like, what are we supposed to do? I want to help Squid, too. Helps. Oh, okay, Squid gets the I quick go kill on help him real fast. <laughs> Squid gets... Oh, my God, and he's able to save her. I thought Nana was completely dead, and Squid was able to just, like, focus in on Popo. But uh, Army gets the F smash, and then goes off stage and saves Nana, too. All right. well, at least he got Nana. He yeah. got Nana right now. He did clean it up. The start. So that's, that's the start of the comeback. But, man, what a reversal there. As long as he just keeps him cornered, keeps him off stage right here, he can close it up. But Oof. Army, right there. Army saw his positioning. Just he held his spot. Do you realize, like, how, how tight the execution is to get the punish on that retreating down air? Especially as Icy's. Like, yeah. it's so hard. And Army's just able to find that exact positioning where he's not going to get hit by the retreating down air, but he's going to be close enough that he can get the punish. And that's what's so impressive about his spacing. Army definitely has a Sharon gun. He's a really good reading movement. Oh, he gets a shine. Oh, oh. Splits him up. Clean edge cancel. 
Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Just get to a safe spot. Very hard for ICs to, to challenge the top platform without like a huge middle. So, it, you know, especially when the ICs is kind of in a commanding position, you expect them to not bother with that. Take, it's good taking advantage of it there. Oh, he gets a side B. That was super risky, but the F smash doesn't come out in time. Oh, so Squid opts to laser to keep Army out with the Popo, but then he's not able to find time to get the Nana. He is able to reset the combo and do it anyway, though. All right, clean. Squid claims the clean. lead once again. I like this. I like this so much. Saw the opening. If he could kill Nana, that'll be so. That'll be so big. He gets the F smash. Yep. Okay, yeah. There you go. Nana. So once Nana's in that tumble state, there's nothing she's gonna do. Um, so as long as you just keep Popo away from her, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Three stock to one lead. This is a bigger lead than we've seen Squid have throughout the set. Let's see if he can close it out this time or if Army can find another crazy win. Oh, Squid finds the sh shine. That was so scary. Back throw. Oh, the down smash barely doesn't connect on Nana. Nice. Yo, keeping up the pressure. It is so clean. Squid did some stuff right there to get that stock. Right. There's, Falco, it's, there's one thing Falco does better than any other character in this matchup is just 2v1 in the climbers. Yeah. He's able to like just... Nana, it doesn't take much to keep Nana preoccupied. Just laser her. Yeah. And you're able to just take on Sopo with a full on wall. Mm -hmm. And once you're able to get that, that position where you're able to kill Nana while doing all this, yeah. like that's exactly what you want. Yeah. And Squid's been finding that a lot in this game. All right, Squid's able to take a game. He looked real commanding throughout that. You know, a three stock win. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he really played it super clean throughout. He was very careful and cognizant of the risks and the threats. Uh, let's see if he can keep that momentum and On push FD. it through FD twice in a row. Now, Squid, order. Squid believes in this matchup on this stage. Like, he really thinks that he should be able to make lasers such a problem for Army that, uh, and, and to have such a strong combo game against Army that, like, this shouldn't be that strong for ICs. I think so far, at least in recent times, he hasn't been able to show that in practice. Let's see if today's the day. Everything could happen. Oh, what is Nana doing? That was so fast of her. She's usually not that quick. Uh, might be one of those things where uh, Popo's got a little more percent than we're used to. Uh, so Nana's at a little higher uh, computer level. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Squid gets some started here. Oh. Found something with the lasers there. He was able to desync him and keep Nana in place while Army tried getting a different position. Mm -hmm. Oh, he back here's both of them. That was sick. Nana's dead. Yep. And Popo's dead. There you go. All right. Barely a, barely a lead here for Army. Let's see what he can do. Oh, man. this. <laughs> hey, that's that was pretty good fire stalling. I mean, it wasn't like invincible by any means, but kept himself safe, kept himself safe from the ice blocks and you know, eventually was able to get back on stage with it. Yeah. Over the past few weeks, uh, Squid has gotten a ton of uh, mileage off of his... Uh, his edge game against Army, um, and it looks like Army is often to just not even bother with it. Just ice block yeah. until Squid gets tired of doing it and, and comes in. Oh my God, that back air—that was ridiculous. You see Good. that turnaround laser he did while mm -hmm. he was running down it too. Just make sure Army was able to hit him after yeah. he did that back air. Boom! But Army finds the wave dash down smash. I think no, not quite a stock. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Squid just spot dodging, rolling. Doesn't want any part of that mix up. Gets in there. There should be a stock. Yeah, no problem. Squid right. coming alive. Yeah. Oh my god, that was oh. so terrifying. Jed jumped could, out could of his be, chair, could be guys. It. Gets a second back air. Nana doesn't have a jump. She's done. Okay, Army finds the down smash there with Sopo, but if Squid can close this out, he can get that two stock to one lead that it's been elusive for him. Hasn't been able to use it too effectively. Let's see if he does this time. Oh, he gets the back air. That's big. Army shouldn't have a way back, and no, Squid's going to close it. it out. All right. What do you got, Squid? Can you make this happen? Force a game five? I like this page. Oh, oh, my God. That was... That's an answer. So smart. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's so simple. That was so simple. It's that. It's so obvious. I like, kind of don't look for that. Yeah. that That's that's what you call improv right there. Like, that is not squ something Squid had lapped out. Squid was ready for, right? Like, he just was like, hey, you know what will work here? It's, yeah, Can he finish her? 
Can he finish her? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, my God. And he gets the grab on the ledge so he doesn't have to worry about up being or anything. Huge play there by Squid. Now Army's got a mountain to climb. Uh, yep, there we go. You Game know, I, five. I hope we see a situation again where Squid's fire stalling yeah. just off the ledge. Yeah. And I want to see if Army respects like the, the Firebird in. Because if well, he does, not You cool. have to run yeah. away, right? It's right? vindictive. Like, if he <laughs> I, I think you have to run away. Oh my god, Army just no. get. Oh my god. Wait. No, that's it. Yeah. Alright, so that was a 755 wobble. That was very quick. He just ran in and grabbed, and Squid wasn't quite ready for it. Alright. It's like a very subtle, like, good manner thing that Army does. That where he sees Squid drinking water. Yeah. And he, you know, he lets him finish his sip. Oh no. We saw this in the last set as well, where Squid got caught. Trying to just roll away from a bad situation. He doesn't want to deal with the grab, um, but he ends up like getting pushed just off stage, and all of a sudden he, that roll is instead an aerial, and he's dead. So two stocks to four. Army's got a big lead here. Squid's yeah. able to crouch cancel shine. Ooh, that F smash catches only Popo, so he gets a free kill on Nana afterwards. That's that's how you start the comeback yeah, right there. That's the start. Squid's got to keep it going though. Still definitely behind. ICs, I think, are oh, simultaneously the hardest and easiest character to come back against. Well, yeah, it, it's, you know, if you play just right, it's so hard for the ICs, but it's one moment of weakness, and all of a sudden, it's nail in the coffin. Yeah. Oh, that Nair oh. was so smart to hit both. So po. Po. Oh. Back air reverses somehow. That's yeah. so painful. But he's Barely able to mash out it. even at 60%. Nana just a little too far away. Gets the grab. Nice. Gets the kill on Nana. Oh, and Sobo doesn't we clap. We got even game. What's just going like on? Just like that. All right, let's see. Oh, he's not throwing ice box. Yeah, he knows. Oh, Ooh. Squid finds the shine. Can he open up off of this? I'm thinking out so hard over these Firebird stalls. He gets a grab. Oh, he gets out of the grab his of his own with the spot dodge. Oh, oh but no, he gets the re-grab. And yeah, that's yeah. going to do it. All right. Army's got a little bit of a lead here. I think Nana's at pretty high percent, so it should be relatively easy if you can get one big hit off of her. Baits out the ice block. Gets the back air on Nana. I grab, grab. Oh, that works. Oh, that laser was so good. Not only does it stop Sopo from going for the uh, belay, but it also pushes him onto the ledge, so he has to hold for even longer. Can Squid force a last sock situation here in game five of the first set? I like how Squid's respecting the down smash right now. Not using any any bad aerials. Sticking with the dare. He knows how bad he needs this. He needs to go into this stock low percent. All right, so he's able to do it. Now it's anyone's game. Can Squid force the reset? That's the big question here. Squid's taking his time coming back from ledge. Up he's straight up this time. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, that's oh my it. god. I don't know what Army wanted to go for there. I don't think the... Nice mix uh, up going for Army instead of mana there. Oh, he gets the down tilt. Oh. Oh, Man, but Nana uh, get up attacks. Okay, here we go once again. What's Squid got? Army super threatening right now. Squid trying to find his way back on. He's able to do so. He gets the back air. Shines Nana up. Oh, but he gets the fair. All right, back in neutral. This is so close. He That's gets it. the F smash oh, out of nowhere, and Army wow. is gone reset. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was insane. Where did that F smash come from, Squid? I'm, I'm in love with what Squid's doing right now. <laughs> oh, okay, reset. No games to no games. Nothing's happened yet so far today. Don't worry about it, boys. Army and losers. Oh my god, Nana's just dead. Uh, that's that, uh, uh, what is it? Hit stun, uh, yeah, hit stun stacking or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, where you, you get the second shine and they, they comp the, the distance that they send gets compounded. Good stuff to Squid to catch that. Uh, it's a little bit technical. It's not like too hard to. Uh, yeah, you have to do it really off. fast. Yeah, it w and you have to space it just. Or you have to space the shine on Nana just right as well. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Anyway, uh, Squid's able to clean up that Sopo stock again. I think that's kind of the story that we need to be telling. Is like in those three games that Squid was able to win uh, in the reverse 3-0 that he pulled off. Um, he didn't let Sopo. Oh my God, that was disgusting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How? Okay. Yeah. He didn't let Sopo recover. That was sick. All. Yeah, exactly. He didn't let Sopo build anything, right? Yeah. And Army Sopo is 
really, it's really good. It's just, it's just a good Sopo. So like, if you just got him in an edge guard situation, you don't give him the chance to get those down smashes or those uh, those tech chases off yeah. the grab. They so good with. Gets the back air, splits him up. Anna's running all over the stage, but Squid's not able to find a good hit. Comes in with that late dare. Oh, this time he goes for the shine instead. I like, I like this fiction Falco we're seeing. <laughs> Squid really trying to like make Army think think about when he's coming in, right? It's not just like I'm going in now with a good hitbox. It's well, maybe I'm going in now, but maybe I'm shining above you. Maybe I'm waiting. Maybe I'm double jumping. Oh, he tries to hit Nana with that F smash, but she's a little too high percent. Goes too far. Oh. Army tries saying Nana. Didn't really work out though. He had to jump super high so that he couldn't get uh, like knocked away by Squid. Uh, but then it actually sent him too high to be able to get it. <laughs> good F tilt. Yeah, really clean. Uh, it's good recognition. Does it, you know, don't have to do too much. Four tilts in the camera cover. There you go. Sends him at like that nice Sakurai angle too that Ices can't recover from. Ooh, this time he doesn't get that uh, scaling. Oh, and Army's able to break up the up the next time around. It's probably why we haven't seen so much of those. Nana up he kills. Yeah. Just because Ar Army doesn't let him happen. Yeah, Army Army's a beast at not letting that happen. Oh my god, Squid, he remembers that F smash from last set. He's like, oh, that'll work. But this time Army's able to punish for it. Uh, I think once again Nana is at pretty high percent, so we'll have to see what he goes for. Oh, Phantom Shine? Wow. Phantom Shine on Nana? That's actually really Don't big. do that! Come on, game, please! Ooh, okay. Basically, so army, just trying to find a next opening on Nana. Ends up working out for him. I think that was like the first time in, you know, two and a game sets that we've seen army actually challenge Squid at the top platform. So Squid's really forcing army to to play his pace now. Yeah, just huge. Because then once you get like a kind of idea of what Icy's timings are going to be, mm -hmm. it's just so much easier to to fish him out or fish out Nana. All right, Squid's up two stocks to one. We've seen this story before. Can he close it out this time? Oh. The signature army grab that so yeah. many of us are very, very have nightmares to about. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how he does it, man. But he just it, that wave land. He wave lands on platform, and you're just like, oh god, I'm already grabbed. All right, last stock situation. Let's see if Squid can pull something out here. Completely even. Oh, Ooh. oh, going for army instead of Nana. He gets the shine once again, forcing them both up there. Oh, oh, he gets the F smash again. He's really looking for those all of a sudden. Kill Nana. Oh, the shine doesn't connect. Okay, this should be a kill. Yep. Pink. I, I don't think. Yeah, that think... could be it. He might save her. Wow, he goes way out there to do so. Doesn't make the mistake of going for Nana. Oh, he gets the laser, but Army's able to reclaim it. Oh, he finds the second F smash, even though the first one doesn't connect. And this time he holds Army out. Yep. This should be really tricky for Army to make it back. Yeah, so he's able to eat the side B and take the first game. That's four games in a row. I really like how I'm seeing this good. He's, he's not falling for the easiest mistake a good a player that could, could make, where he's not he's keeping the pressure up by uh -huh. not going for that. Uh -huh. He's keeping he's extending the situation where he has like the advantage. Yeah. By walling Army out and just kind of keeping him separated instead of just going for a fast and maybe difficult kill that could get him punished. Absolutely. Oh, Squid's able to get out of two grabs in a row right there. That could have been one of those army early stocks. But uh, Squid doing a great job of not allowing the wobble. Oh, that F smash. I right, just let her rip. All right. This is my favorite fire stall in all of melee. Oh. Look at how look at how different army's playing. Even though he only lost that one time, uh, Squid's really gotten his head. Another F smash. Squid, like, didn't press forward on the C-Stick on the ground for like the first five games he played, for yeah. the first seven games he played, and then all of a sudden that's like all he's doing and it's working like crazy. Army needs to find an answer. Oh, nice up, nice up laser. First one he did. Yeah, if Army's going to give him that much space, I mean, why not? Ooh, Squid was trying to get behind Army so he could get a big punish off of that, but not able to do so, and Army completes it with a stock. Calls him out on his ledge dash, ends up getting that forward smash. Takes a stock for it too. Oh, that's such wow. a tough pos position. You try to force out those ice blocks as uh, the Falco player, right? You want to get that big punish. Yeah. But if you go in too early, you can get hit by the mallets off the ice blocks. So it's it's actually kind of a tricky timing. And in that case, Army's able to get the punish because of it. I didn't even know they sent you such a perfect angle. 
Yeah, it's, it's straight up. It's not fun. Guess the down air. Ooh, able to roll out of the grab because it didn't hit both of the characters. Why is Nana grabbing? Nana, go home. What is this? <laughs> How did Nana get hit? She's so dumb. Good save, but yeah, it's, there's not much that he can do to stop the follow-up. As long as he can keep Army in the corner here. Not, not so much anymore, but if he would have kept him, that could have been an easy stop. Yeah. Easy as it gets, at yeah. least. Now Squid has to work a little bit to get him back to the other corner. Ooh, oh. interesting spot dodge there. I wouldn't have guessed that Squid was going to go for the grab anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here we go. This is big. Part of the reason why it's so good for Ices, or why this stage is so good for Ices, right, is that these combos are, like, pretty strong. Yeah, That's able to keep the follow-up. Doesn't have to platform textures with, like, an up air or something, which you don't get much off of that. Yep. So that was the first time in... A, a good number of games that we saw Army do a good amount of. Oh, he finally calls, calls him out. out. Wow. All right. So Army does good work with his popo and then finishes it off by challenging Squid at the ledge. Two things we haven't seen from him so far this uh, this tournament, really. So let's see. Well, I guess since the first set that he won. So let's see if we can keep that stuff up or if Squid can close it out. Army up two stocks to one here. Oh, that spacing just barely gets around to the jab. You know Army had a grab ready if uh, he gets hit. I like how Squid's lasering over the ice box. Keeping his movement kind of fluid. Yeah, definitely not like getting st stalled up by those, right? Yeah, and as Falco, I'm sure he knows that like, you don't want to shield. Yeah. And that's exactly what Army wants you to do. So. Ooh, somehow Nana dies. Army opts to go for the mix-up rather than trying to save her. Squid looks like he's going to make him pay for it. Yeah, there you go. All Even right. Game. Last stock situation. Let's see if Army can close it out or if uh, Squid can go what up What a great ledge dash. If you keep Nano separated from Army, that would have been great. But electing to keep, you know, just eighth positioning instead. Doesn't want to get caught by something. Oh, that back cheesy. So risky. If Army had just uh, shielded through it, could have been a grab. Oh, he gets another one of those late backers on that double jump. Army having a little trouble dealing with that exact option. Army doing a really good job of keeping Nana behind him, even when she does get hit by Squid. He gets the F smash. And it, is Army going to risk it? He does. Well, misses it all cancel. Thank you, Army. was in the punish it for Squid. Oh my god. Squid gets the first hit of up air on Popo, and then the second hit on Nana. Oh, Squid, come on. Oh god, Squid really needs to close this out here. He's at low percent, so he doesn't have as much to worry about. Yeah. He finds the back air off of the dare. Army's so insanely scared. Oh, but Squid still goes so up to recovery. Oh, I can't decide which ca which player looks more tortured right now. Yeah, <laughs> I it? mean, Army looks like he's dying, but Squid looks like he could have just a heart attack at any second. <laughs> Squid looking like Lazarus right now. After oh. winners, coming back alive, just yeah. So really doing it between movies. between winners finals and grand finals, Army won five games in a row. And since then, Squid's won five games in a row. Can Army get that reverse 3-0 back, or is Squid going to be able to take out this tournament? Yeah. It's just Squid seems like he's just a, such a stronger game plan coming into like this third set here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he looked, you know, he had some ideas in that first set and in the first couple games of the second set, and they like really have started coming together here. Yeah. Like we, we've sort of seen it happen mid set. Wow. We were talking about how tricky that ice block is to challenge, and there you see Squid come in with that Nair. It hits the ice block and then also punishes the Ice Climbers for it. Waits forever to get that back air on Nana. That was really smart by Army to not do the belay the first time because that laser had Nana in hit stun, so Army would have lost Nana and died if he had gone for it. Instead, he just re-grabs uh, Ledge and then does the belay later. Didn't end up working out for him there, but uh, really smart uh, heads-up play anyway. Oh, Squid gets the ledge dash shine again. Army's going to have to watch for that. Squid gets another shine. Ooh, gets the up tilt on both of them. Another F smash. Squid's making so much of those. Yeah. Army expects the ledge dash shine this time, but doesn't find the punish. Just gets a shield up. Oh, Nana jabs. Could have been a big punish otherwise. Army being a little bit more aggressive, it looks like now. F smash on Nana. He's going to go after her a little bit. But he knows he has to wait for her to get up from ledge. So he lasers into Popo. And then wow. he does the punish. This is looking really dominant by Squid right now. Army needs an answer. Squid has a 
really strong idea of what Army or where Army's gonna be, how to handle him when he does decide to come in. Absolutely. Ball's in Army's court. He really needs Oh clock sticking too. He needs to find out how he's gonna deal with this this wall that Squid's putting up right now. It's a very dynamic wall too. He has no problem just oh. switching around defense and offense. These hits that Squid's doing to like mid comp. What is Nana doing? Go home, Nana. That's ridiculous. Um, the the hits. Oh, and there's the wobble. We haven't seen one of these in quite a while, actually. Yeah. Squid's um, done a very good job spacing out any kind of opening that Army would find. I think one of the things that Squid's really brought together here in these last couple of games is mid combo, like waiting on the hit and then getting the hit that kills both of them, or that that hits both of them and keeps yeah. the combo going, rather than just trying to combo one of them. <laughs> we'll try to get the you perfect want, spacing yeah. on the corner. All right, so Squid's up three socks to one. He got another kill on Sopa without Nana. Oh, but then wow. Army gets the grab with the turnaround. That was so ridiculous. Oh, man. So it's looking like Army time. It is. Oh. Squid was up three socks to one, and all of a sudden, it's a last sock situation, completely even game. Army taking the time to just get any kind of negative thoughts out of his mind right now. Just not even said I was getting this wobble. All right, here we go. Can Squid find it? Can he can he reclaim this dominance that he's shown throughout this set? He gets the grab. Oh, Army grabs him back. He gets the shine. Back air on Nana. Not able to finish it. Oh, but he gets the back air to split him up. Oh. And the down smash. Army forward smash. Oh, can he clean this up? Oh, he goes for the fair and Squid's up B closes it. That could have been the gimp to bring it all back for Army. Was he, was he trying to aerial with the A button? I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Oh, that's and Squid takes it 3-0 and grants. That was Wow. What a turnaround. Yeah. To go down he goes 3 0 and then he goes down 2 0. I'm not sh I, I couldn't What do you say? I wouldn't believe it if I <laughs> Squid ecstatic. All right. Uh let's the Firebirds do like Right from the ledge. Oh, those are so good. Those are so good. Oh, no, stop, stop. Don't talk yet. Give it to him. Give it to him. 